Hi crafty friends, this is going to be a review of scrapbook.com's Maker's Mat. Do I recommend buying it? Well, just watch to the end and see. Hey guys, have another video for a reveal. What I have today is I ordered the Maker's Mat um, from scrapbook.com. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, I do have this little bitty small waffle flower that I've used quite a bit. I like using it when I'm ink blending or doing some ink smushing, that kind of thing. I use it and it works pretty good. Um, but of course you can only, even though I only usually use small um, size paper, but you can only use a certain size in this. So they had a special on this. Let me raise this up a little bit. And it looks pretty cool. Um, when I saw it, so I said, huh, let me give it a try. That might be something that I can use. So let's open this up. Again, it's the Maker's Mat by Scrapbook.com. Hoping I can do some ink blending on it without um, my paper sliding around. Um, some watercolor on it. Um, some ink smushing, that kind of thing. So I figure we'll try it out, see how it works. Um, it's the little cup, it lies flat, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, you can smush it in. I, I have some similar that I bought um, from Michaels, but this is pretty neat that you can kind of fill your cup up with some water. Um, put that here, it looks like it'll stay pretty good because I can be clumsy and knock things over. Um, but I do like having when I watercolor um, some wet something for a clean. This is my dirty one that I usually use. Um, and I like to have clean water and dirty water. So we'll do those together. Um, and I think I'm going to use I also like using um, this blue paper towel. It's made to not um, get fibers and things when you're cleaning. I um, think some people use it when they wash their cars and that kind of stuff. Um, so I think you probably, I bought it off Amazon, so you probably can find it from there, but I like using it um, on my crafts. That way I know I won't get any lint or pieces of fuzz um, when I'm, working on things, especially on my brushes and whatnot. So let's get some brushes here. And I am going to try my Altenew watercolors. A couple of brushes. And I really love my Altenew watercolors. I'm not that great with watercoloring per se images, but I do like to use them. Um, when I'm doing ink smushing or splattering or, you know, some general swiping on of color on some cards or whatnot. So I'll grab that. And I like these pre-cut um, watercolor cards. Um, they're perfect to making cards from um, Craft Perfect Tonic Studios. They're pretty easy um, to work with. So I'll grab one of these. And... Let's just do some rainbow coloring. Yes, I do sometimes still have to reference my chart, my rainbow chart. Um, so I grabbed it. And let's grab some water. Let's see, looks like there's two more little areas here for other cups. Let's see, my little blue cup now is not going to fit on it. So let's put some water in here. In case I want to mix up, like you can create little palettes, which is cool. Um, let's wet my red and my orange and my yellow. And let's do this blue. And see, I swatched out my. I love swatching out my stuff. It's very helpful, handy. I took when I took the stickers off the um, bottom of the little palettes. 
Um, I stuck them on here and then swatched them on the little card. So it comes in handy. Let's do some blue and some purple. So I think I'm going to use this brush is just a general three quarter inch brush. Um, put some there. And let's try it out. Let's see how the mat works. Brush wet. This will be my dirty cut. This will be my clean cut. So let's do rainbow swipes. Let's do this red right here. Let's try to make it in a little palette. It's pretty cool. It holds it in. I usually just use my um palette over here on my Tim Holtz mat, but um sometimes you know you end up with the color mixing. Cause it's all one thing so this is pretty cool how it keeps it in a well i don't even have to really pull out i do have a well but this i won't have to pull it out so let's do some little swipes love the texture you can see the texture um in this paper Do orange next. Dry fry. Brush. Make sure it's clean. Clean water and spit the orange. I'm sorry for my dog, yeah. Somebody must be picking with him. Water and let's do some yellow. And let's do that green. Let's see which green you want. Let's do. Let's do the rainforest green, just this one. Take my own plenty of water. I've used it yet. Let's do some purple. The purple is right here. I'm going to use this one on the computer. So pretty. I don't know how um, the watercolor is blending into each other on this paper. Pretty. Love it, love it. I'll probably cut something out with this. Let it dry. Cut something out with it. Pretty. Let's put it to the side. So, so far so good with the mat. Wells keep the paper in. 
I mean, the ink in, my paper was held down while I was swiping. I didn't have to hold it with my finger. So that was pretty cool. Um, just misted it with some water. That's easy cleanup. Of course, eventually with reds, you're probably going to get some stain, but that shouldn't affect the use of the mat. So I might try some um, hand sanitizer on it later and see how that works. So oh, let's try some ink blending next. And my Nouveau ink and my Classic Crest. So I have a piece of Nina Solar White, um, 80 pound here. Let's put away my watercolors. And I want to try ink blending. See how well it holds down the paper. Um, I have my um, Simon Says Stamp little mat thingy, but I should need it you now. It might might hold down what I need. And we'll do rainbow blend again. See how it all goes. Got my scrapbook.com blending brushes. So let's blend a few colors together. Let's do maybe red, orange, and yellow. Just see how it blends right there. Stuck to the bottom. So let's do that. I love these scrapbook.com um, blending daubers. They make it uh, really easy. Help you blend. Um, I'm used to using my little paw, but it may not be needed. Let's let's try them out. This is Nouveau um, Hybrid Ink. I like their inks too. Usually tap off a little bit and blend. Pick up the inks more and blend. I don't think I want the whole rainbow this time. You still kind of have to hold down your paper. Um, Doesn't look like it's kind of really grab. Um, paper a whole lot, but I know they're about selling a, I might have to purchase it, um, a mat, um, kind of like a sticky craft mat that can hold your paper down. So that'll be cool to have. So we get to get in it. Let's see how this um, ending dauber, a little curvy like sponge, it helps it blend really easily. And this is um, Nuvo Hybrid Ink. Um, color is Poppy Red. So let's move on to. And you can keep going if you want to blend, you know, to be darker, but it's really not a dark red color. Next, let's do our orange. I have the carrot stick orange. And I love sticking my little um, blender down. Um, the mat is holding my ink pads, though which is helpful. Um, this other land is doing a pretty good job of that. I have to 
get me some more um, scrapbook.com daubers. I really do um, like using these. Okay, so you can get a pretty good blend and um, don't have time. Of course, I should be done. I'm attacking some off. If you don't tap off, then you get a big blob. Let's do some blobs. Since we have some blobs, let's do some blobs. Okay. Now the blobs look integral. <laughs> so, you can do some blobs in the red if we want to. Then, after I do my second color, I like to come back with my first color. I blend it in kind of while the ink is kind of wet. Still. Since we did blobs in the orange, put some blobs in the red. I blend them in a little bit. Now we have a pretty good looking blend. And I'm thinking about while I have, let's see how water reactive these inks are. While I have my water covered up, maybe we'll do some splatters. Let's see what happens. Okay. This will be a pretty background. Either that or I can cut a pretty sentiment out of it. Let's get the white colors back out. Let's get a smaller brush to splatter it. I'll splatter with some yellow first. There it goes. I messed up my clean water here. That's all right. Let's have my water. I forgot I got water in my palette. See how easy that goes? I can use the water color that's in my palette. See what happens if the yellow splatter and then pick up the brush. Orange splatters. Whoa. Orange splatters. It's just the ink. Oops, we already did. like it. I don't know if I want to try and pick it up and see if it's water reactive and I'll pick up. I haven't tried this with my Nuvo inks yet. No, it doesn't pick up, but I still like the look. All right, so that'll be a pretty background or to cut a sentiment out, like a big sentiment. That'll be really pretty. All right, so far I am liking this um, mat from scrapbook.com. Um, I would recommend it if you need something similar. Um, I do wish it kind of grabbed the paper better, but other than that, you know, I love the little wells, um, the little cup holders. Um, it holds my little, little bitty um, ink square down pretty good. So, thumbs up for me.
I'm excited I want to use it and I might film on it more often because um, it doesn't catch the glare of my black um, Tim Holtz glass mat. So I may start seeing this more often. Thanks. Bye. I wanted to show this pic of the mat after I cleaned it using some hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer cleaned the stains up pretty well. So do I recommend the maker's mat from scrapbook.com? I do recommend it if you need a silicone mat to craft on as the water cup and the spaces for mixing your inks are pretty handy. The only thing it didn't do that I hope it did was hold down my paper better while I was ink blending. I will probably use this mat though uh, when I go to crafting retreats as it'll be easy to travel with and it'll be more handy than my old brown craft mat that I usually take with me. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.